Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Gary Spain, and I'm here to talk about the international matches in the autumn and whether we will be able to, as fans, able to attend these games. And uh, it's all up in the air, so I don't know, but I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Uh, I, I can say what I do know. I mean, the government have been talking about after September allowing uh, crowds at games. I know the, the GA are hoping to get over 20,000, I think, at Croke Park. The figure being talked about for the Aviva Stadium is 18,500, all going well for the FEI and the IRFU. Um, obviously, we'd like to see more, but um, hopefully, uh, if you go by the government, we'll have 18,500 socially distanced fans will be allowed. Um, I would assume that all season ticket holders would be okay then because we have something like, I don't, I don't nobody seems to know the official number of season ticket holders, but it's something in the region of 12, 13, 14,000. And uh, you would imagine then that if 18,500 are allowed, maybe not everyone will want to go, that we will at least get to see home games as anyway. Now, that's if you go by the government. Um, unfortunately, if you go by the UEFA medical director came out, um, he seemed to think that possibly all games may be behind closed doors in in the autumn for European club matches and for um, internationals. That would certainly be a, a major disappointment. Um, will it go that way? The cost implications are horrendous if that happens. I mean, the difference, I know the FEI's money troubles are, are well documented. The difference between getting 18,500 or whatever paying spectators in from three home nations league games and not having that revenue would have to be massive. And it would have to be the same for other football associations as well. And not to mind the disappointment for the fans. Unfortunately, what I can see happen, this is my personal opinion, is I think UEFA ultimately will probably leave it up to the governments and the football associations. But perhaps we'll say no away supporters. I certainly can't see UEFA um, insisting on the mandatory away tickets that are normally there for away fans. You know, the away fans normally have to get whatever, 5% plus 200 or um, whatever it is. I know it's slightly different with UEFA and FIFA. So um, I believe we'll definitely or hopefully have fans at home games in the Aviva Stadium. Now, away games, where do we stand? Um, I'm going to look at the different countries because first up for Stephen Kenny, he's going to Sofia to play Bulgaria in September. There are already fans at games in Bulgaria. Um, they've actually got, they're allowing, I think it's half attendances. You've got crowds of up to 10 and 15,000 being allowed. That sounds very hopeful. Um, but who knows what's going to happen for international matches moving on and the big one is the playoff with Slovakia in October and I'm sure that's one we'd all love to attend uh, Slovakia had allowed crowds in there were crowds at the game last weekend their cup final went on sale and unfortunately it was actually taken off sale because of by the, by the Slovak government concerned about the social distancing at games already so it's very much wait and see there whether there'll be any fans at that um i certainly wouldn't be booking anything yet uh next nations league game is away to finland and again uh, the finns it seemed uh, like slovakia actually have done a fantastic job in managing the virus and they've been very fortunate to have very few cases and very few deaths they have crowds back at games as well uh socially distant so there would be hope for that as well and finally um i'm just hoping things will be a lot better by november but currently in wales or in uh, anywhere in the uk there are no crowds allowed at the moment and there are no published plans to have any crowds at games um Hopefully, but who knows? But I would go back to what I said already. Um, I'd be very reluctant to book anything at this stage because even if there are crowds allowed, it could be very, very limited and possibly, possibly no away fans, uh, which would be a major disappointment. 
Um, the other possible game, of course, is a playoff final, which would be in November against Bosnia or Northern Ireland. Again, uh, Northern Ireland, they're going to play their cup semi-final and, and I, uh, the Irish Cup final at the end of this month with no crowds. There is no talk about when crowds can come back. Um, Bosnia are very strong in crowds, actually, and uh, I've seen some uh, Bosnian journalists actually saying they believe if there are crowds at their playoffs, they, the playoff with Northern Ireland and the final, which they have at home, if they have crowds, they'll win. If they don't have crowds, they'll lose. That's how important the crowds are to Bosnia and Zenica. And I think anyone who was there for the playoff in 2015 will understand the the passion and the noise that their fans bring and the, what it gets out of their team. And that is a huge advantage. So um, much as, as we'd all like to be there, maybe if we did end up playing Bosnia in a, a playoff final, we would have a better chance behind closed doors. But... Uh, so what's going to happen? Who knows at this stage? Um, I think it's just a matter of keeping an eye on the figures, keeping an eye on the government advice. Uh, currently, I don't think it makes any sense to be booking travel if you've got to quarantine for two weeks when you come back. Because for now, if you're going to Bulgaria, uh, you've got to quarantine for two weeks. You can't go to the Finland home game. Maybe it'd be worth going to Slovakia for the playoff, but then you're going to miss the home game against Wales and you can't go to Finland either. Um, but who knows? I know the airlines are putting huge pressure to, to get rid of this two-week quarantine. Uh, possibly we'll have air bridges coming soon for safe countries. You'd imagine the likes of Slovakia, Finland would be on that list anyway. Um, who knows what's going to happen? What are your thoughts? Do you expect to be in the Aviva for the Finland game, Stephen Kenny's first home game in September? Are you planning a trip to Sofia? Uh, have you booked Bratislava, the playoff in September? Um, or are you going to wait and see? Um, what do you think is going to happen? I know we all desperately want to go to these games, but we also need to stay safe. So. Uh, give us your thoughts in the comments. Do you think you'll be at the games in the autumn, the home games, the away games? And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV.